Welcome to another guide too, with me, Mr. Sealy P. The Farming Classics Pack. This is a converted mod pack over from FS15 by Dogface. Um, I have very fond memories of this pack, and I said a while back when I was doing my Golden Days of Farming um, map, and I tried to use all old tractors for that, how cool it would have been to have this pack out then. Um, I'd like this a lot. This is a really, really cool mod pack. Now there's a lot going on. This is going to be a slightly longer guide to to normal um, because we've got 10 vehicles to look at, 9 tractors and 1 loading wagon um, and 15 implements. So there's a fair bit to get through. Now I've arranged them, it would appear in a fairly peculiar order, um, but on the... Um, farming simulator mods page there are some screenshots one of the screenshots shows you these vehicles like on one page that's going to come up on the screen so i've kind of done it in that order um so uh what we're going to do i'm going to have just very very quickly run through what we've got uh on the left hand end we've got the buka d4000 we've got the gildner g40 we've got the buka trl 2600 self-propelled loading wagon we've got the hearts h340 a lindner bf450 we've got a gildner g40 front loader next to that we've got the hurleyman d110 or d110 or whatever they call it um, we've then got a bura rp21 we've got a deutz d80 and the schluter 1500 or 1500 TVL. That one is the only one with a front three point linkage. That was a workhorse on FS17, uh, FS15 um, on my Westbridge Hills map. When you started out and you couldn't afford big tractors with high horsepower, that thing was brilliant. Fairly cheap, high horsepower, awesome bit of kit. Um, and then behind we've got a selection of stuff um, we have got a fork and shovel we've got a far ADN baler we've got a Kuhn FA367 um, mower for all intents and purposes you'll see that in operation in a minute we've got a far KH4S tedder a Pottinger 300 wind rower um, oh you know what I've forgotten I've forgotten something. I'll have to find that in a minute. We've got a far MH650 um, forage harvester. Lemken D2755K plow. BPF cultivator 3406. We've got a Hassia FS seeder. Amazon ZA fertilizer spreader. Crone Optimat um, manure spreader, muck spreader. An old water trailer, a wooden slurry tanker, and an old trailer, like a grain trailer. Um, so let's have a look in the store shall we um, let's scroll across in my mod section well mod section angle will come at the end anyway so let's say these are not in the same order I've just read them out um, but they range uh, there are no uh, options to change horsepowers or anything like that these come as they are um, so I'm going to come back out of there we have got ranging from 38 horsepower the Gildner G40 72 on the Bura RP21. Uh, we've got a 38, we've got a 40, we've got a 45. The Deutz is 75 horsepower. Uh, the Hurleyman is 55 horsepower, and the Schluter is 150, which is brilliant. I mean, that's amazing. That's obviously looks like the more modern one out of all of them. Um, as far as equipment goes, actually I'm going to check something to see if I go across whether under F I've got farming classics or whether it's just going to come as, as uh, yeah, they're all going to be a separate um, manufacturers. So it just becomes, sorry, it just becomes a case of using a bit of common sense. Now, the one that's not obvious is the G40 front loader. Although it does say front loader. I thought it'd be a G40 tractor and then you buy a front loader, but it's not. If you're looking for that, that is in this section under front loaders and it's the whole tractor. So it's the whole tractor and front loader all attached. You don't buy a separate front loader for that. Um, but again, 17,000, it's not too bad at all. The front loader shovel and the front loader fork, Gildner, are both in here as well. So if you're looking for those, that's where you'll find them. Um, forage harvesters, that's what I forgot to get. 
and it will be this one the far mh650 let's just lease one of those that'll put it inside the uh warehouse whatever you want to call it um obviously that's a that's a single row uh forage harvester that would be an interesting piece of kit to use um and the tippers let me scroll across we'll find the grain one the lizard grain trailer that's a 4500 litre capacity if we go to sewing machines again let's say these are all fairly obvious you know you're looking for a sewing machine planter seed that's what's going to be the hassia fs is in there 20 horsepower requirement that's only got 100 litre capacity though it's not very big at all uh, cultivators we have got now i'm not sure what's the make of the hat it's the bpf cultivator it's written around there um i can't actually read what that says but anyway yeah bpf cultivator uh plows this is a uh, two furrow i think it is yeah the lemken d2755k is a two furrow plow one meter width um we haven't got an auger wagon we've got a fertilizer spreader that's the Amazon. When you look at the Amazon stuff, oh no, we haven't got any Amazon stuff in here, are we? Oh no, the Amazon ZA 330 liters capacity. This is all. This is small stuff, small farming, small scale. This you're not going to be using one of those to do a big field. Uh, Crone Optimat uh, Muck Spreader, 3,500 liters capacity. Uh, slurry tank, and this is the interesting one. This is amazing. The lizard wooden slurry tank is a thousand liter, and that's actually it's a slurry spreader, um, and it's all it's all wood. It's incredible, uh, amazing bit of kit. Um, what else have we got? Mowers. Let's say they're all in here. The FA three six seven T, the Coon, uh, Tedders, the Far KH four S, windrowers, the Pottinger three hundred three meter width that's actually not too bad that'll do one one row the loading wagon is the interesting one and there you go that's the buka trl 2600 only 27,500 10,000 litres capacity a whopping 12 miles an hour what i always loved about that is it had really squeaky brakes as i recall um anyway let's get into this shall we so what i'm going to do i'm going to start each one up we'll have a kind of quick look around them it's interesting that some of them look quite um not cartoony that's the wrong word like toy tractors and some the detailing on them is just phenomenal the weathering on the you know you can see the metal showing through and stuff like that and the detailing on the engine and then some seem a little bit kind of you know i know it's a conversion over from from 15 but so this is the buka d4000 three-point link on the back 17 mile an hour top speed these get up to speed quite quickly so then once you sit in it you actually realize how small they are so it starts off quite slow then suddenly picks up speed and you're up to 17 in no time at all the brakes on all of these are awful <laughs> but they would be it takes quite a while to slow down But they have a lovely sound to them. So that's the Buka. Into the Guildner G40. Didn't show the lights in the other one. They seem quite bright actually. Do we have indicators? Oh, we do. Nice, okay. Now I'm going to just kind of leave these to one side, but. I want to show you some of the implements as well in a minute. Didn't quite come to a stop. Now this thing is amazing. I love this. The detail is great. It's a very cool little bit of kit. This is when you stop though. Fantastic. Lights. Don't think there's work lights on any of these. Indicators. Yes. 
Love that little pop, 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 pop sounds brilliant. Okay, these are awesome. I love these tractors. The Huts H340. Some of the designs on these, real classic looking tractors. Reminds me of the Massive Ferguson 35, or was it 135? That lovely kind of sweep, that curve over. It's kind of, these are sort of 1960s tractors, I think. Late 50s, early 60s. And it's got that real 50s kind of look to it that a lot of the cars and stuff had. Same with that. Incredible. This one may have a rear work light. Oh no, I thought it did. Oh, that's interesting. It's got a light there. Is that reverse? No. Nope. Oh, I was hoping it'd have a rear working light. Details in the exhaust coming out on the bottom. A little bit of smoke coming out there. Fantastic. So the Lindner BF4505, is that what it is? No, that's interesting. It says BF450, 4505A. Again, nice classic look to it. I love the fact some have got the, the sort of clamshell fenders, some of the more straight, flattened off ones. All with a slightly different note to them. You've got a rear view mirror on that one. Don't think it's working. Got well, 19 miles an hour. That got to speed fairly quickly. I can see these, you know, around the yard, doing jobs with animals and that kind of stuff. More squeaky brakes. Actually, yeah, I didn't sort of. I say in cab view. <laughs> it's not in cab, is it? But you know what I mean. I don't think any of them have got a light up dashboards. Let me just check. I love the fact on this one. I just noticed actually, just in between the steering wheel where the top um, spoke goes up in the steering wheel, you've got the VIN plate on there. What a great detail. Okay, so the Gildner G40 front loader. Same as the Gildner G40. But this is interesting, the design on that front loader. Up and down. Then you're in and out. You've got these... Uh... Why is it not working? I wonder if you could use those as bail spikes on their own. I wouldn't have thought so, but anyway. Interesting looking bit of kit. Right, what I will do, actually, before I move on to the next track, so let's just squeeze around and look at those two front load things while we've got it on. And it's here. Because this is the only tractor that can pick these up, so... Let's have a quick look. Drop that down and hook up. So we've got the bucket. It's only a small one. Very nice. Very nice. And then we've got, um, I assume it's a silage fork, I guess. It just says fork. So I suppose you could use it for picking up bales as well. Oh, this breaks. Squeaking like nobody's business. Very cool. But anyway, yeah, the Gildner G40 front loader. Awesome. I almost forgot what it was called then. Right, the Hurleyman Synchromatic. Mm, very fancy. The D110. Again. Great details, nice weathering.
awesome. But what I have noticed is a lot of these have got um, front trailer hitches. I haven't tried any of them out yet, so maybe in a little bit I'll try one that hasn't. Some have. Uh, to see if they do work. So let's get the last one through. The Bura uh, RP21. This is the one to me, it looks a little bit plain compared to all the others and the detailing and the weathering. And this one just looks a little bit, I don't know, it looks like a little bit of a, almost like a toy. I, I don't know. That's just yeah. my own personal view. This is one of the ones that's got 75 horsepower, is it? Does seem slightly larger than some of the others. Lights. That's it. Looks like you've got almost like a little walnut walnut dash there. Very nice. Early bit of bling. And then we've got the uh the this is the Deutz, isn't it? Yeah, this is the Deutz D eighty. I love the green on this. I know lots of people will just want oh squeaky brakes. Want the big machinery something very nice I, you know real character about these old tractors and then the beast the beast of the pack the Schluter you can tell already right lights no no working lights inside beacon though lights that's it. No main beams, no work lights. But 150 horsepower. A fairly low price. That sounds quite cool. And this one will go at 26 miles an hour as well, which is pretty awesome. So, the equipment itself, um, there's a couple of things. I'm, obviously, I'm not going to show you. The water tank is a water tank, holds a thousand litres. The uh, Crone uh, Muck Spreader, I think it's 3,500 litres, was it? It's a lovely bit of kit. Weathered, worn, looks old. Wow, fantastic. Again, same thing with the wind rower. The wind rower, wind rows. You've seen wind rowers in use, but they, they really do look great. Nifty little tether, again, old, used, it's sort of rusting on the edges, that kind of stuff. This is the one I'm most interested in, we're going to see that in operation in a minute. Um, the FAR, APN, it says APN on there, it says ADN on the website, but never mind. Um, then we've got the Cultivator, uh, that was the BPF, the one I couldn't read. Um, I think that's only, is that a 3 metre or is it a 2 metre? Let's have a quick look on Cultivators, I don't want to get that wrong. How big did that say that was? That was... Uh, 2.5. Oh, there you go. So between the two, I wasn't sure if it was 3 or 2. 2.5 it would be, wouldn't it? Um, this cedar is, wow, but only 100, 100 litres. You're going to be refilling that constantly. What an amazing little design. Fantastic bit of kit. The slurry spreader. See what I mean? All wood. Look at it logs, beams barrels connected together or maybe that's just one long barrel maybe it was made specifically for that I would imagine the cooper involved in making that was a master at his craft what an interesting bit of kit the grain trailer uh, this hasn't got a tip side back it has tip side left and right the side flaps down we'll have a quick look at that in a moment uh, then we've got the mower the FAR, uh, that was the Coon. Oh no, Coon, sorry, not FAR. The Coon FA367 mower. We'll see that in operation in a moment. We've had a quick look at the buckets. The Amazon fertilizer spreader. Again, very small capacity. Nice, neat looking thing. And then we've got the one meter plow. Uh, that was the Lemkin 
uh, D2755K. And I think if I got it, there we go. How did I forget that? Yeah, interesting bit of kit. Three point linkage hook up here. Wow. Forage harvester, single row. You imagine some of those big fields, those big old corn fields. Pff, that's going to take you some time using one of these, isn't it? Wow. Okay, right. Let's have a look at some of these bits of equipment because there was a couple of things I wanted to see in operation. Now, let's grab this booker to start off with. Actually, let's go. Oh, brakes. Come on, stop. So, just pull this forward. That tractor looks tiny on the front of that now. How weird is that? Um, anyway, so uh, I'm going to put the um, help window on. So if I go R1, tip side right. If I now go L1, R1, and it says unload here. Side comes down. If I now go R1, tip side left. Same thing again. Unload here. It doesn't tip up or anything. That's it, it will unload. Now it does have a rear trailer hitch, so there is an assumption on my part that um, that wall, you can hook multiple ones of those up or other trailers with it if you want to. Um, I'll tell you what I was going to try, wasn't I? Oh, squeaky brakes. Let's try one of these with the front attacher. The Gildner. Isn't it weird? It looks like it says Gildner. And then it says Gildner on there. Gildner, not Gildner. Oh, ignore me. So let's see. Will this hook up at the front? If one does, I assume they all will, but. Yep, there we go. Now, for these front axle, um, swivel axle trailers, I have found, and after advice given, manoeuvring these about is so much easier if you hook up with the front of a tractor, because you've got so much more control over the way that thing moves. Manoeuvring them around like this is much, much easier. Anyway, there you go. So, the front attaches do work. Jump out of that. Uh, right, what I was going to look at next. Oh yes, the mower. So, let's grab... I'll try and use as many as I can. Why not? The hat, hats, hearts, I would say hearts. I would think it's hearts, not hats, but I could be wrong. I'd love to send these engines. Wow. So cool. Dogface has done a brilliant job on this. Look that up. So... Let's get out to the field and get some mowing done. So, mower, unfold. Lower mower. And then turn on mower. And away we go. That's so cool. That's a brilliant bit of kit. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant bit of kit. Like that. So, turn off, lift, and fold. There we go, that's the mower. Coon, FA367. Please turn back and go over there. So I'm leaving all this stuff just dumped all over the place. I know that's terrible, isn't it? Uh, what else do I want to show you? Um, I'm going to show you the plough. Cultivates, cultivates. Uh, oh yes, of course. Let me show you this first. Let's jump into this. The Buka TRL 2600, 2600, whatever you call it. Like I say, it's not the fastest thing ever. 10,000 litre capacity. It's just such a cool little bit of kit. Might take me half an hour to get there. Bear with me. Oh, just destroyed it in the curb. So let's turn it on. 
and then lower the pickup and away we go this will fill up fairly quickly I would imagine So it's fairly quick over the ground in the field, isn't it? I don't ask me how the straw, grass, whatever it is you're using doesn't fall out through the net and the mesh. And, and there we go, 10,000 litres. Wow. That is a really funky little bit of kit. Love it. Squeaky brakes, though. Unload here. The 10,000 litres seems a lot bigger. Look. <laughs> hmm. How did that thing fit all of that in the back of it? It's that TARDIS technology. Lots of farmers are using it. That's a cool bit of kit. Really, really nice. Brilliant. Oh. And it leaps fairly well too. Okay, the next thing, the bit I've been waiting for, and this bit is really cool. What am I going to pick for this? I, oh, I know what I'm going to pick. I'm going to get the Deutz. There's a reason for that. I've gone too far. See, getting overexcited again. Um, uh, calm yourself. Let's hook up. So we've got a Deutz and a Far. Deutz Far. Nice. Before the two companies merged. This is the baler. Now there was another mod in this pack originally, and it was a bale collector. Um, unfortunately that wasn't included because I believe there was a script on it that wouldn't work, um, so it wasn't included. So unfold it will pull it to one side it doesn't pull it very far over so you're going to be kind of growing up going over a little bit this is awesome because this does the little mini bales and i love this um so lower pickup turn on baler so the pickup's there lower pickup and watch this little beauty go How cool is that? Now, because of this, the other really cool thing about this mod, which I love, is this. It means you can now manually manipulate bales. They're only small, I think they're 300 litres. We can drop them. If we're loading somewhere, a wagon or something, we can throw them we can do bale throwing competitions of course we could but it does mean you can kind of manually stack bales now you can throw them in i assume you can throw them into feed troughs etc it's brilliant that manipulation of the of the stuff i just think that adds a whole another dimension to if you're doing a let's play a storyline being able to manipulate and manhandle the bales i think it's just brilliant can you pick two up together though? That's the question. Oh, you can. How far you get with them before they fall over, I don't know. But that's pretty cool. Loving that. Loving it. Look at that bell stacking. Look at that quality stuff. Right there. You're not going to get that on anyone else's channel. <laughs> probably because no one else is bothered to do it but anyway so there we go you can manipulate these bales by hand which is why i, I was so hoping this pack was going to come out because this mini baler is brilliant anyway right that's the mini baler um what else was i going to show you was that all of it i was so excited about the mini baler i forgot about everything else to be honest with you i think that might be it we've pretty much been through everything else we could do a spot of tedding should we do just do a bit of tedding why not Let's pick one we haven't used. Let's get the Hurleyman, shall we? Let's get the Tedder out, shall we? It's, it's going to stop at some point. There we go. 
so let's go to the grass we cut so unfold one side then the other lower tether turn on tether and away we go Yeah, actually, the tedder is putting the stuff in a fairly neat pile, considering the mower left it in quite a wide one, so the windrower... I don't suppose you'd need to windrow it, really. I don't know. Maybe you would. Yeah, some of it's a bit of a mess when I turn the corners. Not so tidy, but there you go. Tedding. There's pretty much everything you could need, I think. Lift it and fold it in this pack obviously there's not a harvester but there are a few little harvesters there's the fort shrit and the, you know there are some smaller harvesters the massive folks in 27 um that you could be using in conjunction with this pack so now obviously when this came out in fs15 the one thing i loved was all the cool equipment but then there was no harvester really to go with it but with fs17 with all the mods there's something for everyone um let's just get rid of that i think that's pretty much it like i say obviously you know, there's some other bits and bobs I could show you the plough ploughing, but it's a one metre plough. It ploughs, you know. Um, fertiliser spreader spreads fertiliser. Cultivator cultivates. Um, they do the jobs you would expect them to do, but it's nice to have a quick, you know, a look at them. That design is just, it's amazing. But anyway, that's it for this guide too on the farming classics pack by Dogface. It's um. It's cool. It, it's there's some really cool stuff. If classic tractors aren't your thing, if small tractors, low horsepower, a bit small equipment isn't your thing, this is not going to be for you. It's not going to be for everyone. Um, it makes me smile. It, there's some really cool stuff in there. This thing, it's nice to have that back again. Although that does to me, it looks a little bit. I don't know. The textures in parts look a little bit plain. You know, the checker plate, diamond plate, whatever you want to call it, from wherever you're from. Um, looks really detailed but then you've got other bits that that don't i don't know it's just me like i say it's a conversion over so on the whole when you think of everything you get in this pack like 25 bits of equipment you can't really odds it can you um i'm most excited about the bales could you tell um but anyway if you have found this useful or informative in some way shape or form give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free and if you want to share this video then please be my guest, whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.